With the women's tournament in Greensboro now in the rearview mirror, it's time to look ahead to the NCAA tournament. Now I'm going to go with the obvious. The four top seeds in Greensboro have good chances, I think, to go far. But they have certain players who cannot afford to have an off day against tournament competition. For Florida State, two keys. Aduk Bolgak has not been as consistent in points and rebounds as she would like. She has to be great for the Seminoles to be successful. Leticia Romero has had some big scoring outputs. Her offense has to be on point. There are two players who are key for Louisville to make a run. The Cardinals have four players averaging in double figures, and that balance is great. But Maisha Hines-Allen and Mariah Moore have to play well at both ends. I picked Syracuse a few weeks ago as a sleeper team. I still believe that. They have three keys. Brianna Butler can be a great shooter. She can also miss 10 in a row. Her shot has to be there. Alexis Peterson can have a bad offensive game. And in the middle, Brianna Day has to rebound and play great defense. Notre Dame made it to the championship game last year. They can do it again. The big key is the only Irish starter not averaging in double figures. Lindsay Allen, she makes the engine run in the second half of the season. She had a number of games where she got in foul trouble. When she did, Notre Dame really struggled. The pieces are there for a great run, but Allen has to be on the floor. Now here's hoping the ACC makes a lot of noise in the upcoming NCAA tournament.